Hello, in this series, we're going to have a look at common questions that you might have received in interviews. For example, one of the most common questions that I received in interviews was how would you test a login functionality or how would you test a login screen? And that's what we're going to focus on today. So one of the errors that I made initially when I first got this is I went really direct in in the answer. So I was like, okay, I have the login form. So of course I do, I check the username, uh, I check the password um, with valid, with invalid. Um, I check different uh, um, usernames to see if I get uh, message errors um, in case the username is invalid, uh, different passwords. Well, that's not wrong but it's not, let's say, the best approach. What I recommend is before actually going into um, stating, okay, I need to test, I would test this and I would test that, I would first ask a little bit more about the context. So I would ask, okay, is the login first and foremost, is it for um, a desktop application? Is it for a web application? And is it supposed to be used or is it accessible via mobile? So one of these three. Or maybe it's all free, but first I would like to know this. Then um, once I know this, um, I would like to know, uh, for example, okay, how is the login being made? Um, is it just username and password? Um, is it... Um, um, with username, password, and a third-party app, like two-factor authentication. Um, can I do login with uh, Facebook, with uh, LinkedIn, with something else? Um, also, what browsers? What are the supported browsers? Because it may be um, that, I know, um, somebody still has Internet Explorer, although thank God it's being deprecated. But this is something which you want to know beforehand. And this is also going to show that you are a person who first makes, takes or takes the time uh, to read the documentation for something that you receive as a task to test, asks the questions or asks questions in case there are any questions, and only after starts the actual work. Okay, so once you have this part done, then you can actually start stating your tests. And how I would do it, well, I would group the tests a little bit or the scenarios a little bit. For example, I would go firstly with a functionality point of view, with a functional point of view. So I would say, okay, I would test uh, what happens if I enter nothing and just click on sign in. As you can see on this dummy page or this test page, I actually got, I logged, I was logged in without entering anything, which is bad. Um, I would say, okay, I would expect in this case to have some errors in place that the username and a password are required. Afterwards, I would try, of course, with a valid username and password, then an invalid username and password, um, I would try this remember me mechanism. In general, um, the modern websites do have this. So once you have um, once you have this remember me on and you logged into the application and you close your browser and go back in, you should still be um, authenticated. Also, uh, similar to this remember me, I would try. Okay, I would log in uh, to the application in one tab and then open a new tab. So I want to see if I am still um, authenticated or uh, if I'm not authenticated. Uh, then also still in the functional perspective, uh, if um, you get, for example, the answer that on the form, there's also, um, I don't know, something like a forgot password uh, functionality, then I would also uh, talk about some test cases in that direction. And one of the most common ones, which uh, 
is usually ignored, but may have an impact from a security point of view. Uh, and that, that way you can also uh, switch to security or uh, mention the word security testing. Is um, if you have um, a message that when you enter, um, so you have a forgot password, and for example, you need to enter the username and you click on um, forgot password and you have a username and the message states um, this username is not in our database um, please enter a different username that's really bad from a security point of view uh, because the message should be really generic something like um, in case the user is in our database um, you will receive an email with the instructions to reset your password okay and of course, you can do way more from a functionality point of view, but that should be sufficient to uh, show the interviewer that you know what you're doing. And once you have the functionality point of view, you can go into uh, another, which is really popular, and that is um, browser and device um, compatibility. So. You asked, as I said in the beginning, what browsers should I or should this login screen be um, usable on? And you get most possibly one or more browsers and you say, okay, that's one part of your testing that you want to make sure that the login screen is rendered and also functions correctly on the browsers that are mentioned. Um, then um, most the majority of uh, modern websites are responsive so you want to test that you also want to uh, make sure that they render correctly in um, or on mobile devices as you can see here this page does have some issues um, on different devices or at least that is what the emulator in chrome is showing me and, and of course, so uh, after you have this uh, tested, um, one more thing to mention, which is often ignored, is accessibility. So accessibility testing um, is a huge part, or it's really important when, when testing a website, especially a login. I mean, you have to make sure that um, everything is readable from a context perspective this page seems to be you have to make sure that um, in case you have error messages that they are visible on the page not that they're truncated in any way you have to make sure that the website is um, can be used without without a mouse because not everybody has um, possibility of using a mouse you have to make sure that um, the website um, is um, correctly uh, usable using a screen reader um, there so um, I'm not going to go into really into detail but accessibility testing is definitely a plus that you can mention in, in this direction um, so let's recap a little bit. So we went from functional to um, responsive to um, checking different browsers to security um, to accessibility. One other um, aspect which you can you can check is the aspect of performance. So if you would log into the application uh, with multiple users or if you could simulate in the application the login of multiple users at the same time or the login of multiple users in a specific time frame and you would analyze um, if you notice any latency um, in the login process because if it if with 10 users uh, if it takes one second and with 11 users it takes three seconds that's already an issue which would need to be reported so i hope you like this video uh, feel free to comment uh, what you would like to see more in uh, in this new series i do have a list which i'm going to uh, to cover 
but uh, I would really appreciate it if you write to me um, what you want to see here because in the end um, I want to make uh, these videos in a way that they will help you and that you get a plus or that you get that you remain with something that will help you in also in your interviews as always have a good one and I hope to see you in the next one bye bye